it's um, it's a long time coming that someone of that stature um, says it the way it is. And um, yeah, I'm very, very pleased that they've come forward because it's gone, it is adding incredible weight to getting to the bottom of this whole saga. Um, and, you know, people like me have been waiting for a long time for vindication and for the truth to come out. Tell our so, audience uh, how you have been affected by the events of 25 years ago, how your personal life, how your career has been affected. Well, um, at the time when I mocked up these statements for Martin, um, I was in transition um, from leaving the BBC. Uh, I was in my notice period and I agreed to set up a production company with some other colleagues. And uh, yeah, it, um, it sort of stopped all of that dead in its tracks. Why? Because um, unbeknown to us, um, Tony Hall had hatched a plan with many other unknown faces in the BBC that um, we weren't to work for the BBC again. And we had specifically left the BBC um, to set up a business um, to work for the BBC as our main client because we had so many great colleagues and connections there. Um, but I certainly never got a job from the BBC. Um, my business partner, Patrick, um, got some, but it was a very tough time. And it was a tough time for two or three years until um, I threw in the towel and gave up. What do you want from the BBC now? I would like Tim Davey, who is the Director General now. And I have to say one very important point, that certain untouchable people have been swept under the carpet and are still being swept under the carpet in all of this. Let's not forget that John Burt was in charge of the BBC when all of this happened. And even though he wasn't head of news, he was head of the BBC. And he was, I'm sure, also dealing with the fallout of the biggest interview News and Current Affairs had ever done. And he has never been mentioned. So I would like to speak to Tim Davey, the now Director General, in person, exactly about that. Why to this day, it looks like the important people are being covered up. Certain people get a apology yesterday, a public verbal apology on television. Other people don't. I need to talk and find out why this is still happening because I can tell you from my point of view, every day this goes on and this sort of cover up, cover up carries on and this trickle feeding of the truth, the public are losing confidence in the BBC BBC's ability to do its job.